Hello and welcome to EFM. In this quick episode, I thought I would take advantage of the situation, which is that I've had to remove some parts from a through hole plated board. And I wanted to show you a rather useful technique for getting rid of the solder. Now you can use solder plungers, which are, if I can get it out, um, these things, which uh, obviously you put near the, uh, the solder blob that you've heated up and push the button and it sucks it up. But, however, have I have I do find that copper braid is far more effective. And I found out that if you use two different sizes, one very large, one one very small one, you can clean out a through hole plated part quite easily. So you use the bigger one to get rid of the bulk of solder while you, while you use the thinner one for the little bit of solder. So we've got the, uh, the Panasonic camera set up here. So if I just put my finger around there, you can see it's quite zoomed in. And all I need to do to sh sort of show an example really of what we do. We're gonna, I'm gonna start by um, cutting off the excess copper braid because you don't want that. It's just gonna get in the way, especially for this video demonstration as well. And then all we have to do is find some solder first because I wanna kind of blob one of these back up. Uh, where did I put my solder? Ah, there it is. So we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of solder onto one of these pads. Uh, can we see that one? No, that one's out of focus. How about that one? Yeah, okay. So let's say that was the component there that we need to desolder. All I need to do is use the larger braid. So I'm trying to show you by comparison. You can sort of see it's, hang on, there we go. It's uh, size by comparison. So we start off by using the bigger one to get rid of the blob. But it doesn't get rid of it completely. It only seems to get rid of like the majority. But that's good enough because when we come up with this much thinner stuff, I'll just get that out. That's how thin that stuff is. And for comparison, as you can see, it's much, much thinner. It's very good for SMD work. But we just hold it in there, give it a few seconds or two. And we can now see, which it was this one here, it has now been desoldered. So next time someone tells you that uh, through hole plated parts are too difficult to desolder, you can prove them wrong. Thank you for watching and see you next time.